observing the human cheek cell. Let us take a glass slide with a drop of water on it. Using an ice cream spoon, gently scrape the inside surface of the cheek to get the inner substance. With the help of a needle, we can transfer this material and spread it evenly on the glass slide kept ready for this. To color the material, we can put a drop of methylene blue solution on it. Now, the material is ready for observation under microscope. Do not forget to put a cover slip on it. Let's observe the prepared slide under the microscope. What do we observe? What is the shape of the cells we see? The cells are kind of irregular. The shape is almost like a square or an X shape but more rounded. Or you could look at them like oval like with more defined edges. This section is called cytoplasm. This is cell membrane. Was there a darkly colored, spherical or oval, dot-like structure near the center of each cell? Yes, there is dot-like structure near the center of each cell. This structure is called nucleus. Now, let's compare the onion peel cell and human cheek cell. Onion cell The cell of an onion peel consists of a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, and a large vacuole. The nucleus is present at the periphery of the cytoplasm. The vacuole is prominent and present at the center of the cell. It is surrounded by cytoplasm. The presence of a cell wall and a large vacuole are indicators that help identify plant cells, such as seen in the onion peel. Human Cheek Cell As in all animal cells, the cells of the human cheek do not possess a cell wall. A cell membrane that is semi-permeable surrounds the cytoplasm. Unlike plant cells, the cytoplasm in animal cell is denser, granular, and occupies a larger space. The vacuole in an animal cell is smaller in size or absent. The nucleus is present at the center of the cytoplasm. The absence of a cell wall and a prominent vacuole are indicators that help identify animal cells, such as cells seen in the human cheek. <laughs>